All right, we're ready for assembly now. Here is our main body. We milled out, had the little boo-boo over here, but uh, we'll live with it. Then our movable jaw, drilled and tapped on the bottom, uh, drilled for the screw in there, drilled and tapped in the top for the uh, dog head screw, set screw. We have our, uh, our screw with the handle pressed in now, and the the groove in the end. We'll score it all. Now we'll set our jaw in there, our movable jaw. I have the uh, the set screw in there already, or started. We don't tighten this down. We put it in where it fits that groove, so it goes and comes in both directions. Now under the bottom we have our plate. And our 832 screw. And there's pretty much a complete advice. Now before I end this video, there's one other thing I want to do. As I say, I do not have a surface grinder, but I do have a uh, a belt sander with a good flat platinum on it. So I'm going to carry this over there to it and dress it up and I'll bring it back and show you the final product. Alright, I believe the vise is done now. As a matter of fact, a little time on the uh, uh, belt sander and guess what? The trigger bites are gone. They weren't near as deep as they looked like. There's just a tiny remnant of one right there. But I believe it's going to be perfectly fine. I'll still keep this one in the shop for myself. But the jaws fit. Fit up good and tight now. It needs to be some, uh, some lubricant on there. So now we'll get started and work on the, uh, work on the pedestal. I have the uh, roughing end mill loaded back into the mill now in the 3 8 collet. I have the, uh, the pedestal blank installed with a uh, 15 degree angle block underneath it. I'm going to leave that under there just, just for a little added support. But what we're going to do to begin with is take this down. I have the center located. We're going to take it down to this edge. Uh, which should be about 250 thousandths. Then we're going to uh, go down our desired depth, which I believe is going to be about 3 eighths of an inch, and work it out each way so that we have uh, a trough in there for the vise to set in. Alright, that was 450 thousandths to get it close to this edge right here uh, at the 15 degree angle. So what I'm going to do now is take it down another uh, 375 thousandths to, uh, to start the center trough in there and then we'll start working back and forth. I'll bring you back when we get a little closer. I have the uh, trough in here cut down to 375 thousandths from this edge right here. Now what I'm going to do is start working over 
so that I'm conventional milling at all times. I'll work over and take, say, 50,000 off of this side, run the DRO to 50 thousandths on the other side of zero, do this side, then 100 thousandths, 100 thousandths back and forth until we get a one inch uh, space in there. And to measure that, I'm simply going to use a one inch parallel uh, to be sure we've got the correct width in there. All right, about 12 and a half more thousandths should uh, give us our one inch space in there. But I'm going to take it 20 thousandths on each side. This is for no reason has to be a tight fit or anything. As a matter of fact, it should be a, a reasonably loose fit just for convenience. So I'm going to take 20 thousandths off of each side now. Okay, there's obviously some burrs that need to be cleaned up off of that. But we should be able to get a one inch. And you know, that's still just a little snug. I'm going to take another ten thousandths off of each side. Alright, we're finished with that slot. As I say, it's going to uh, take some deburring. But this is the way, uh, this is one of of course, the vice body blanks here. I'll deburr that. I'll turn it over and get started on the other side. We shouldn't have to move our table. I brought the DRO back to uh, uh, zero on the Y axis. We're using the same V block in the back. So I'll get it flipped over, deburred, flipped over, and bring you back. I have the pedestal turned over now. I uh, got the y-axis back to zero and we're going to do just like we did the other side. We're going to take this down 375 thousandths on the center pass and then work our way back and forth until we uh, have a one inch clearance in there. Now we're start our side to side working. So 50 thousandths on that side. Go to a hundred thousandths on each side, approximately, until we start getting close.
go past zero to a hundred on the other side and repeat Alright, just a matter now of cleaning the burrs off of this side, then we'll put it on the edge, turn it on the side, and uh, drill our holes for the set screws. I have both ends now deburred, uh, deburred good enough for, for this next step. What I'm going to do is place that in the vise. Now what I did, uh, after I cut this one and I turned this up, I kept these two in line. Uh, that just sim will simplify the drilling of the set screw. Now I'm going to snug that in and set my parallel in there. And using my uh, angle cube, angle gauge, I have that zeroed out with the vise now. So the work should be plumb or should be perpendicular to the vise now. So we'll we'll find the center. This will not be the same Y now because I do not <clears throat> I don't have the V block in the back. And I'm just going to catch, be sure we're still in frame here, I'm just going to catch on these edges right here. And I'm going to be particular that I've got my Z at the same distance down, so I'm going to go ahead and lock the Z. Zero out the Y. Y one half. I can take this up now. Bring the DRO back to zero. All right. The set screws that I have for this are ten twenty fours. Let me double check that. They're actually thumb screws. Uh, one more thing I need to do while uh, before I drill the hole, I need to get the measurement from the end. Zero out the X. Move over half the width of the probe, which is 100. Zero out the X again. And we did that. 375,000ths deep, so half of that is 188,000ths. We'll move in. Actually, I'm going to go to 200,000ths from each end. And we'll lock the X and the Y down at this point. All 
All right, I'll move down to the other end of our pedestal now and repeat that process. All right, folks, I believe we can call this project pretty much complete now. Uh, the vise is done. Again, this is the one I had the little accident on. There's just a couple tiny little specks right there on the end. This one is going to stay in the shop here. Uh, I've got two more of these to make. I've got the other one I showed you at, during the introduction. I've already given it and the pedestal that went with it uh, to my wife. She was thrilled over it. Uh, hopefully the daughter will be uh, thrilled in hers. We'll be heading down to Atlanta in two weeks where she lives. So I think I'll just carry it to her. It'll be a bit heavier to, to mail anyhow. Pedestal completed. Set screws in there. And again, set on the bench. Adjustments as such or a little lower. And of course the other end is just for a, a straight. So I hope you enjoyed this little project. I've enjoyed making it and um, hope you learned something from my, from my bozo moment when I was working on the uh, body of the vise, putting this angle on here. So have a good day and we'll see you in the next video.